we always leave a trace as humans. I mean, even me sitting here breathing, you know, your words, my words, it, it's all of that, we leave that. You know, it's out in the universe, so to speak. And of course, every step we take, we leave a trace. So in a way with this performance also was a little bit about this awareness what trace do we want to leave because we are ultimately as humans leaving a trace behind that awareness that even each step i take will leave something you know i mean there might be animals that i'm stepping on or you know that there there is some sort of um of an impact that we have you know with all so but generally we will leave a trace maybe the question is what kind of trace would i like to leave i think traces are left very much as a vibrance. So things are vibrating and evolving and everything is changing constantly. And I think uh, those are the elements that are building up and creating what is surrounding us. Thinking of, think about the, the margins of the body, but also the permeability of that and how it's sort of a porous margin that you know it's it's in a constant state of revision um it feels like it's in a constant dialogue with the world um and so there's something really archival about that and i think that's kind of where my interest in the idea of traces comes about there's some kind of like um yeah calling on like masculine and feminine energies to kind of um i guess bolster myself uh but i'm kind of presenting myself to the audience as this creature of um my dom domestic and rural landscape that that's kind of the the fabric of the piece i think i was throwing my mind and my body in together into a painting being the artist being a painter to me like a crystal geometric pure form kind of thing that's hidden in the meanderings and wanderings and traces of all these convoluted stories that don't quite make sense, but you can you can sense the presence. I've collected objects for a long, long time. Uh, things from places I visit, from the kitchen, the garden, from from walks in nature. Uh, I guess the objects become a kind of record of my activities. The practice of collecting, I think, is a loose, fluid way of seeing and gathering a vocabulary. For me. If the mind is the material, then that exists not just in performance space, not just in the staged convention of the performance begins at this time and ends here. No, it keeps going. 